This section is going to have a look at what happens when you're given a melting point and a boiling point and you're asked to predict what the state of the product is. So if you have a question like this in the exam, a chemical has a melting point of minus 87 degrees and a boiling point of 35 degrees, what state will it be at room temperature? The first thing you need to do is dissect it. So find out the information that you need to answer the question. So we have a melting point 87, boiling point 35, and then it's asking you what it will be at room temperature. Room temperature is usually around 25 degrees C. Now I know a lot of people sometimes have difficulty with this type of question, conceptualising, visualising what will be the solid, what will be the liquid, and so on. So what I tend to suggest to people is to draw a timeline, or a temperature line. So draw a line along here, and put the information in. So we know, at minus 87 degrees C, that's where it melts, turns from a solid to a liquid. So we know that everything to the left of that line is going to be a solid. Above it, you've got your liquid and your gas. The next thing you put in there is the boiling point. And that is 35 degrees. So everything above there is going to be a gas. Which means that everything in between these two points is your liquid. So the final thing to do is to actually put in the information. So it's asking room temperature. So we say that's 25. So you need to find a point between here and here. So minus 87, 35, 25 is in between that. It's going to be around here. So I know that my state is going to be a liquid. Here we have another example. So it says a chemical has a melting point of 106 degrees and a boiling point of 17. What will be the state? A at room temperature and B on a cold winter's day. So do the same again. Draw your temperature line. Minus 106 degrees C. Everything to the left of that is a solid. And then 17 degrees C. Everything above that is a gas. So in the middle you have your liquid. So room temperature, that's 25 degrees C. So that is obviously above this 17, so it goes here. So we know that A is going to be a gas. B, it says a cold winter's day. You can usually presume that's going to be quite low, usually around the zero mark, zero to five. So straight away you can put that in and go, right, well, it's between a gas and a solid, so it's got to be a liquid. Hopefully that helps. Okay, let's have a look at an example question then. So you might get something in the exam similar to this where it says a substance has a melting point of 18 degrees C and a boiling point of 132. Explain why the state of the substance may change depending on the time of year. Pause the video now and have a go at the question. Okay, you should have had a go at the question, so let's go through it. So the first thing to think about here is it's asking you to explain. So if you're explaining something, that means that you've got to go into detail a little bit more than just identifying whether it's going to be a solid or a liquid. So on a cold day or below 18 degrees C, it would be a solid because it would be too cold. So you would get one mark for that. And then the explanation part is saying what it will be at the other time of year. So on a warm day or above 18 degrees, it would be a liquid. Hopefully that's helped you with the predicting the properties and predicting the states of different substances based on their boiling points and melting points. Have a go at the review section and see if you can understand it now. That ends this video.